Okay, well, I started work at what, half past five in the afternoon. Um, went to one of my facilities at Crown. Um, started to get a, a slight chest pain and it felt like indigestion as I had lunch this off, earlier in the afternoon. Um, got into my car, got into the highway, drove all the way to Marlborough, uh, Marlborough Live, and that's where the pain really started to get, to get bad. Um, got off to the highway, onto the old Pretoria Road, and I had to pull off and, and stop, stop the vehicle, and that's where I phoned ER24, and yes, I spoke to the operator. Um, she said, no, she's gonna send the response out to me. Whereupon I also did a funny thing, I phoned my girlfriend, told her I loved her. I phoned my son, told him I loved him, and, um, and then I just hung up the phone. It was about, say, 10 minutes after that, the guys couldn't find me. It was, they, they were driving up and down on the highway. And I thought, you know, <laughs> let me just drive to Woodmead Drive. And um, that's where Garth and, and, and the guys picked me up there. Um, got into the ambulance, I felt fine. As I said, I wanted to go back to work, but thank goodness Garth said no. Um, took me to the hospital and all I can remember is when I stopped at the hospital, I told Garth I didn't feel well. Um, I don't know how long it was, and then I woke up with Garth doing compressions on my chest. <laughs> I told him you were hurting me. And then I sat up again, and then I was gone again. And that kept on for 11 times. Which, whereupon I just woke up and they, I know they, they said they gave me a magnesium injection and thereupon I was fine. And I stayed into, in the recess for the whole day and then into ICU. Uh, the following day I went in to the cardiologist and they put in a stent and that was that. I was discharged the following day. Jeez, yeah. You know, what I can remember is Garth. I know he held my hand, it was blue for a week. I don't know why it was, was blue, but I know he held my hand at, at a stage that I can remember. Um, when I laid with my ha head off the gurney and I saw Kyle and Gemma, I didn't see one, I think one was at the driver or something. That's why I didn't see him. But yeah, I know that I, sp I spoke to Goth about two times afterwards. Um, yeah. They saved my life. If it wasn't for Garth and Gemma, Johan and Kyle, the hospital would have given up on me. And I know he stayed there, he said he's going to stay there until I'm, re I'm fine and they can take over. And if it wasn't for them, the hospital would have just said, you know, it, it's, it's done. The, the doctor actually came out and spoke to my girlfriend and said it's too late. Yes, my, my girlfriend's happy. <laughs> Obviously, she's happy. But um, all she says is, if it wasn't for me fighting, I won't be here today. And she says, thank you for me for fighting for every day. Every day that I'm, I'm at home. And my mom is quite happy. She, she's very happy. She actually took photos of me the other day because she said that I don't have enough. And yeah, another thing is, um, I haven't spoken to my brother in two years and he was the one phoned, asked my girlfriend Adele, do you need anything? We've actually planned a fishing trip for the end of the month. We're going fishing. Uh, I haven't spoken to my sister in two years. After this, I'm going to a restaurant and just up the road and we're going to meet. She was at hospital, visited me. Yeah. So. It changed my life and I think it changed the family's perspective on let's not fight on you know the small things that that actually pull the family apart and if we can just get that back together again I think it was for me to bring this back to the family 